Matcha Magic. Unlock health and vitality with Japan's prized green elixir. Drinks are an important part of our diet. They not only hydrate, but above all provide additional health benefits. One of the representatives of beneficial drinks is tea. When we say tea, we usually mean green tea. However, it is worth knowing that there are many varieties of green tea, and in this episode I will talk about one of the healthiest teas, that is matcha tea. I will explain what makes matcha tea stand out from other green teas and why it is worth reaching for it. Hello, I'm Tony from the team Your Health 24. Secrets of Natural Strength Do you know how important healthy eating is? Every day we make choices that affect our health and well-being. Imagine a life full of energy, strength, and vitality. It's all thanks to healthy, flavorful dishes that provide essential nutrients. Join us on an extraordinary journey of discovering healthy flavors that will change your life for the better. Don't wait, start your adventure with healthy food now. At the beginning, two words about what matcha tea is. Well, it is a tea whose leaves are obtained from the same plant as other types of tea, including black tea and other varieties of green tea. The plant in question is a species of shrub called Chinese tea, which is Latin for Camellia sinensis. The difference between regular green tea and matcha tea lies in the different growing conditions. Well, in the case of matcha tea, the bushes from which the leaves are obtained are sheltered from sunlight for about three to four weeks before harvesting. This, in a way, determines the formation of compounds present in tea. In addition, matcha tea is in powdered form. This means that by brewing it in water, we consume it whole. This is not the case with other teas. For example, none of us eat the leaves from the tea infusion, and they usually contain more valuable compounds than in the infusion itself. What I just said makes that when we consume matcha tea, we provide much more biologically active compounds than when we reach for ordinary green tea. First of all, it is about antioxidants valuable for health in the form of polyphenols, the most important representative of which is epigillocatechin gallite, written as eggy. It can be assumed that a glass of matcha tea provides us with two to three times more of these compounds than regular green tea. As this ingredient is primarily responsible for the health properties of tea, it will not be an exaggeration to say that matcha tea is healthier than leafy varieties of tea. Now that you know what the differences are between matcha tea and regular green tea, I will now discuss its health properties. First of all, drinking matcha is associated with the improvement of cognitive functions, including memory and concentration, increasing mental performance, and at the same time with a stimulating effect. This is due to the presence of caffeine in it, the content of which in 1g of powdered matcha tea is about 40 mg. So, matcha works similarly to coffee in terms of energy boost and anti-fatigue effects, but in my opinion it has an advantage, and that's because after consumption there is a gradually increasing stimulating effect and as a result the fatigue reducing effect lasts for a longer time. What's more, after matcha there is less such a drop in energy as many people experience in the case of coffee, which in turn translates into, for example, greater efficiency at work, which has been confirmed in scientific research. The aforementioned activity of matcha tea is partly due to the fact that it additionally contains an amino acid called l 9 which has, among others, anti-stress, relaxing and mood-enhancing effect. Here, by the way, I will just add that if we care about the stimulating effect, matcha tea should be brewed for about 2 to 3 minutes. On the other hand, if we want to experience a relaxing and relaxing effect, then it is best to brew matcha for about 6 to 8 minutes. Here's an interlude, because if my videos like this are valuable to you, I encourage you to show your support with a like and subscription. Remember to hit the bell. This has a very motivating effect on creating even more such videos. I also invite you to our Instagram for even more information. In addition to preventing fatigue and supporting thought processes, regular matcha drinking is also associated with strengthening the circulatory system. For example, in the long term, drinking this tea reduces both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. In addition, matcha polyphenols protect the cholesterol circulating in the body against dangerous changes. I mean the processes of cholesterol oxidation, which makes such modified cholesterol become atherosclerotic. What I just said translates into a further health effect. 
Namely, studies have shown that people who consume green tea, especially matcha, are characterized by a lower risk of myocardial infarction by up to 32%. Moreover, a similar protective effect has been noted in the context of stroke prevention. When it comes to matcha, it is impossible not to mention its anti-cancer properties. So far, scientists have published many extensive works in which they clearly proved that due to the presence of antioxidant compounds, regular consumption of the tea in question reduces the risk of developing cancer of the liver, esophagus, lungs, ovaries, and prostate. I mean lower morbidity, even at the level of about 20-40%. Cancer prevention can be achieved with just two cups of match at a day. It is also worth mentioning that in green tea we are dealing with diuretic ingredients, and this results in the fact that people who decide to drink this tea have a lower risk of kidney stones. Taking advantage of the break, I would have a small request if any of you would like to contribute to the development of our community on this channel, all you have to do is click the subscribe button under the video and then the bell that will appear next to it. Thank you in advance and I'm back on topic. Our tea is also an ally of our liver. I came across the results of studies that show that the supply of high amounts of catechins present in this product results in a beneficial reduction in the level of liver enzymes, such as ALAT and ASD, in patients with fatty liver. This means that matcha improves the functioning of the most important detoxifying organ when it is not doing well. Not everyone knows that drinking matcha also supports our immunity. For example, Researchers have noticed that the antioxidants present in it stimulate the activity of immune cells, including the so-called NK lymphocytes, known as natural killers, and such their activity is reflected in the form of specific clinical effects. In order not to be groundless, I will say that in 2021, researchers published an extensive scientific study in which they confirmed that the consumption of the aforementioned tea reduces the risk of influenza and upper respiratory tract infections in general by about 30 percent. What's more, scientists have noted that the supply of catechins present in matcha results in a reduction in the duration and severity of infections in people who are already struggling with them. Therefore, reaching for matcha in the autumn and winter seems to be a very good solution. Here's more is green tea healthy for men. My small comment regarding the recently repeated erroneous information that green tea castrates men, implicitly causing a dangerous decrease in testosterone levels. Well, the propagators of untrue news give the results of low-quality test tube tests as evidence. However, unfortunately, they failed or simply did not want to reach higher quality studies conducted with the participation of animals and humans, which showed that green tea may even slightly increase testosterone levels or simply regulate its concentration. Ig. In people with low levels, it causes its increase, and in people with too high levels, it favors a mild decrease. Now two words about how to consume matcha. As I said, if we want a stimulating effect, we brew it for up to three minutes. If we want to take advantage of its relaxing properties, then we brew for a minimum of six minutes, but we never use boiling water for this purpose. Due to the fact that matcha tea is in powdered form, apart from infusions, it can be added to many different products. I mean, among others, natural yogurts, cocktails, or ice cream. Some people also use the mash in baked goods, including cakes and muffins. I am curious if you have ever tried matcha, let me know in the comment. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next episode.